prize before us. Amen. on this side to get in tune, amen, get ready for it, praise God, we've got something to shout about, I guess I'll leave these out, amen, all right, got a special, amen, there you go, Still the blood of Jesus. I'm glad for the blood. Amen. He's still on the throne tonight, and he's uh, still saving souls. Praise God. And uh, we're able to benefit, amen, as children of God, to uh, spread the word to other folks, amen, and keep on keeping on for the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says we shall... Uh, 
reap if we faint not. Amen. So let's not uh, faint. Let's keep on keeping on and watch what God does as we go forward. Amen. I hope you can hear me now, Brother Randy. Uh, we got it all tuned up and got it going. Amen. And the others are looking on. Amen. They're sick and out. Uh, so praise God uh, for his help. Amen. We've been uh, preaching and teaching on the battle of the mind on uh, Sunday nights. And uh, last Sunday night, uh, Brother Glenn was with us. And uh, so we missed out that uh, time. But uh, we're going to pick it up again for a little bit tonight. And so if you'll take your Bible and turn with me tonight uh, to Romans in chapter 8 again. And, and let's stand for the reading of the Word of God. In Romans in chapter 8, and we'll speak, and start with uh, verse number 1, amen? Romans chapter 8, verse number 1, and I'll read down eight verses. <laughs> there is, the, uh, let me get my glasses, amen? Got them all out here and ready, and that'll help me, amen? You know I need help. <laughs> amen, all right. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk uh, not after the flesh but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free, think about that, from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak uh, through the flesh, God uh, sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is empty against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they, are, they, so then they uh, that are in the flesh cannot please God. Let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, tonight... Lord, we're thankful for the sunshine out there. We're thankful uh, for the calm after the storm. We're thankful, Lord, for your provision for us. We're thankful, Lord, for the washing of our minds with the Word of God. We ask, Lord, that you'd meet needs here tonight. Help us, Lord, to realize the battles uh, uh, for our minds. And, Lord, that we might be girded up in the truths of your Word, that we might be pleasing to you, that we might hear, Well done, thy good and faithful servant, Lord. We desire to please you. It'll help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you can be seated. Well, we... Uh, Look to the same, let me just give you a little bit of review here. The battle of the mind, if you don't know there's a battle going on, then we need to get our heads out of the sand and realize there is a battle going on, and it is raging, and it's, it's waxing worse and worse uh, the further we go down the line. The longer time is, the Bible says in the last days, amen, there'd be a great falling away, and the Bible says that, that uh, uh, there's a battle, amen, that we as God's children uh, need to gird ourselves up in the truths of the Word of God that He uh, might uh, suffice us, amen. He's able. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. You know that? Uh, and you can too as a child of God. Thank God uh, that we can be spiritually minded, that we can have our mind set on Him, amen. Uh, a lot of times uh, folks uh, in our day have had their minds set on everything but God. God. They don't want uh, anything to do with it. It's like I was speaking this morning in, in the morning service there. Uh, they laugh about uh, those that uh, are, are trying to be spiritually minded. They make fun. They scorn. They, uh, <laughs> all kinds of things. Everything against God, you know, because we have an enemy tonight. His name is Satan, amen, all of his demons uh, in the flesh, amen, is an enemy to us. If we don't uh, just beat it down, amen, as Paul said, uh, we, we as God's children need to 
gird ourselves up with the truth of the Word of God. So uh, we as God's children uh, need uh, God to help us, amen. So we've seen that as we started there. Paul uh, uh, described the battle as seen uh, within himself, amen, told all those things, that things he would do, he don't do, and things he don't want to do, he does. Uh, it's, there's a battle going on, and it's a constant fight. It's not any time to put down the, uh, the armor and, and just say, well, just, just take a break. There's no time to take a break. We're going to have a break one day to last for eternity. It's called heaven. Amen. He's gone to prepare a place for us, and if it were not so, he would have told us, and we're going to be over there with him. I'm looking for him to come any time, amen. Uh, but until then, let's be on ready. Let's be on red alert. Uh, let's uh, uh, give ourselves uh, intentionally to God, amen. And and we've seen and looked down through here now the importance of, of getting in the word of God and letting the word of God get in us, amen. Uh, we, we're thankful that, uh, uh, that uh, he is our... Uh, strength, amen. He is our, our, our power uh, through him, amen. Uh, we can do all things th through Christ with strengthness. So uh, we as God's children need to understand. We talked about that uh, the world is, is waxing worse and worse and uh, we live in the world, but we're not of the world. And so as we're in the world, uh, listen, <laughs> Uh, bombarded with uh, billboards and signs and the commercials on TV if you're watching that, amen. Uh, the, and, and all of society is against God. You know, the devil is the prince and the power of the air. And uh, he's powerful. They say, well, how powerful is he? Well, he's the second powerful one in the universe. God is all powerful, Amen. And so we need to understand uh, that we are not sufficient in our own ability to fight against that fight without his power. But I can do all things through him, amen. It's like going to war without any bullets. Uh, uh, you may look good. You might have everything. I mean, the soldier was here yesterday, amen, your relative uh, there. He looked real sharp. He wouldn't take none of that off either, amen. He, he said, no, uh, he, had, he looked good, amen. But if you go to battle uh, just looking good, uh, you're not going to be very good. You're not going to make it too good, amen. You've got to go prepared, ready, with all the armor, all the ammo uh, that you can get in, amen, to, uh, for it. Uh, and God is sufficient to help you with that if you'll just avail, your, avail yourself to him. And uh, so uh, we see uh, that. But I think that there's a lot uh, of folks in, in uh, Christianity today uh, that don't see that there's a battle going on. They're like Paul said over there in Corinthians, amen, uh, milk, uh, just in the milk of the word. They're just uh, where they should have been. There's nothing wrong with milk. Babies need milk. I mean, that's good. Uh, but but uh, there's something wrong with milk if you're still on milk when you're 39 years old. Then give me another bottle, mama. Hit me, hit me, you know, change my diaper. Uh, there's something wrong with that picture. And so Paul said that to the church there and said, uh, we need to uh, grow up in Christ, amen, and, and be strengthened in, in this thing, amen, that we might be a help. Think about your mentors and those that, uh, that led you to the Lord and, and, uh, and showed you the way, their lives, amen. Listen, a lot of them, a lot of mine are on the other side tonight. But I thank God for them, Amen. Now, it frightens me a little bit to understand that a lot of those old saints of God are, God are on the other side and to think that we're standing here. But I thought about that and meditated on that a number of years ago when I was having my own pity party about, a, amen, my mentors uh, leaving, amen, and, and my prayer warriors. And, uh, and I thought about, you know, <laughs> they didn't think they were anything either. Hmm? Yeah, I mean, a real man or woman of God uh, if, they're, they're, if they are great, it's not because of their greatness. It's because of God's, amen. And uh, the things that happen uh, in their lives, that uh, miraculous things, how God sustains them through the battles of life, uh, they, they're the same as we are. Uh, they get through it the same. They got through it the same way we get through it. It's by trusting in God's power and his ability uh, to get it done. Not in, well, I've done that before. It's like Samson, amen. Uh, he said, uh, well, I'll just shake myself and go out and do it like I always did. And he didn't know that he didn't have the power of God on him. 
And you know the story of what happened there. But praise God, we've got a merciful God. And at the end there, he uh, had God back on him there and, and uh, took down that thing with all those around, took more at his death than he did at any time uh, prior to that. Amen. All the numbers that uh, God used him for before. Uh, but it wouldn't, be better, wouldn't it be better just to keep on going with God? Hmm? You know, we want to make great strides all at once. We want to, uh, to be uh, uh, just uh, have it now, amen. We live in a society if we want it now, amen. My pastor told me a number of years ago, he says, Brother Crank, remember this, you don't remember anything else. The Christian life is not a 50-yard dash. It's a big, long 440. It's a lifetime run. You got to keep on going for God. Amen. It's not 50 yards. Some people uh, run their 50 yards. Amen. And they're done. Hmm. Some people, amen. Somebody said, uh, uh, you know, uh, retiring. Amen. Uh, they said, well, you, you know, you don't retire from the Lord's army. Hmm. That's true. You don't retire from the Lord's army. Uh, different ones, you know. I was talking to the Social Security Department, amen. They was talking about preachers and, that retired, and uh, we got talking about the whole situation. He said, but uh, the lady said, I'm glad we got a godly lady, amen. Uh, talking about uh, uh, preachers, amen. They don't retire. They just keep on going for God. Just wait now. Sometimes they have handicaps. They have to uh, do different things. And, but they don't say, well, bless God. Uh, they, you know, you, you just, uh, uh, that's the end of the line right there. I'm going to go into them this and then I'm done. Hmm. Uh-uh. God knows where the end of the line is. Amen. Understand that? God does. <laughs> and, but the devil uh, wants to attack our mind and wants us to status quo. He wants us to go with the flow. Yeah, listen, uh, any old dead fish can float downstream, but you've got to be alive for Jesus and, and people that know you're alive. You ever catch a live fish? Hmm. I mean, I'll tell you, man, <laughs> I mean, I'm not talking about a minnow now. I'm talking about a fish. Amen. Uh, even even those old uh, fish they put in the in the um, river up there in Mississippi. Amen. That uh, brought over here them them um, uh, Asian carp. Amen. Uh, taking over the river. Man, them things. My dad said uh, they weren't in the river when I was growing up and fishing. Uh, and and then uh, they got in there toward the end. And that, dad, every time he'd get one, he'd throw it out on the bank. He hated them things. Uh, they've taken over the river, and they've taken over the river. They've people died because of them. And I don't know how I got in on this, but I'll, I'll finish with this. Amen. Uh, them things, man. You get a hold of them things, and they'll flap, slap you crazy if you hold them in the wrong place. They're just everywhere. We was going out the river there. Took dad out uh, uh, a few years before he died. Uh, took him out in the boat. And he said, now you got to be careful. Them fish will jump right in the boat with you. I said, oh, no. I said, you know, I thought about shad or something like them little things. No, he said, them big ones. And, and pretty soon, one jumped in the boat and hit him in the back. Uh, he was in a lawn chair in the, in the boat. And then about that time, another one jumped clean over that big old John boat over to the other side. I thought, my goodness. <laughs> I knew they were alive. Does the world know that you're alive in Christ? Does the world know, amen, uh, that, that uh, there's power in the blood uh, and God is blessing uh, in, in his children, amen? And, and uh, though, I mean, listen, uh, it's not over till God says it's over. Understand that. And, and God wants to use you all the way up to the end, amen? Have you ever known a saint of God and they were able to do this because they had their mind right about things, Amen. That just stuck with it right up to the end. My pastor, Pastor Paul Snow, amen, he was one of those. <laughs> Boy, he was a praying pastor. He called me, had to go. Uh, he said, I'm going to, uh, to Mex New Mexico to have some uh, work done there at a clinic, special clinic down there to help him. His knees were bad and he, different stuff, amen. We didn't come back, but he said, you're not going to get any letters from me anymore and any phone calls until I get back now. Uh, of course, I kind of felt that, that he knew he wasn't coming back. I don't know, but he called us. Remember that, wifey? And uh, he, he passed away down there, amen, of that, in that clinic after, after the whole thing. But, but he stayed with the stuff all the way. Even though he was in a wheelchair to go down there, amen, they were getting him up a little bit. Uh, but, but he was telling everybody about Jesus. Amen. Brother Bill Byers, amen. He, he had a Bible study on his deathbed right up till the morning he died. I ain't tell you what, amen. Why? Because their mind was stayed on Christ. 
Now, we can use any excuse we want not to. Hmm? The devil will make it easy for you not to. But if you're going to, it's going to be done on purpose through the girding up of your mind and, and, and allowing God to have control uh, as you go forth. Because the devil's looking for a get-in place, amen? The devil's looking for a, a place to distort your mind and your thinking, to get you into stinking thinking instead of godly thinking. And uh, just uh, give, hair lip the devil and say, I'm going to serve God no matter what. Amen. Just serve him and keep on keeping on for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, what, what, it, it, as we said, it's a mindset. We've got to set our mind on Christ. Amen. Uh, you know, the, the mindset uh, on what uh, the, uh, the, the, the Lord desires. Amen. Uh, and following the Spirit of God and having the Spirit of God there, have their mind, uh, uh, the mind of God in it. Amen. Uh, uh, live in the Spirit, as we said there. There's the old nature, nature and the new nature. Uh, and we need to desire not to feed the old nature, but to feed the new nature through the Word of God and the power of God. Amen. Uh, so uh, we, we still have that old nature there, but, but God wants us to live differently. He said this. He said, we're a new creature in Christ. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And the devil wants to feed the old nature. The devil wants you to, to think on those things that, that are displeasing to God and, and uh, will grieve the Spirit of God. Listen, let's not do that. Let's allow God uh, to work in our hearts and our lives in such a way uh, that is pleasing uh, to Him. I mean, uh, God is able. Do you believe that tonight? In a world that uh, said there's no hope, uh, uh, that you just will give up, the devil uh, will quote that to you and try to uh, feed that to you, amen, but let me, you listen to what God says and believe on what he says and, and hide it in his word. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. I mean, listen, are you hiding God's word in your heart? You say, well, I hid it years ago. I, I was hidden. Are you still memorizing scripture? Are you still uh, asking God to bring it to your mind? You know, the older you get, that battle gets rough. Getting old is not for wimps. You know that, Brother Aaron? It's not for wimps. Amen. I found that out to be serious. Amen. Uh, but, but I know this. My God is still able to take care of me. He can... <laughs> you, you thought you was bad when you was a teenager? Now you can't remember anything. Amen. You got to talk to God all the time about well, help. Amen. Uh, I mean, listen. Uh, man, he'll help you. Call him and I'll answer you. He is his promise, amen. And so if you remember that, <laughs> yeah, and work on these things and, and, and get in there, amen. I don't know if I'm learning new things or seeing old things sometimes when I'm looking at the scripture and realizing uh, that that's what God said about this thing. When the devil is bombarding your mind, that that just can't be true anymore. I mean, that, that's, I mean he, he, he'll attack you, but he's a liar. Understand that? He's a liar. He'll lie to you. He's the author of lies, and he, he, he is uh, very cunning. He'll, he'll give you half-truths to say, yeah, but this is why this is different today than it used to be. Listen, God never changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And tomorrow, he'll still be the same. When we get to heaven... He's not going to pull out another book and say, you didn't have this, but this is what I'm going to judge you out of. Uh -uh. It's not going to be that. Amen. Listen, God uh, has it all right here, and it changes not. Praise God for that. Amen. I'll tell you what, uh, uh, God uh, loves you, and, and he's got everything under control. And so I'm thankful uh, for a God like that. Have a right mindset. Amen. The old nature versus the new nature. Uh, we we uh, uh, talked about... Uh, the uh, uh, three parts of man, the body, the soul, and the spirit. Amen. I don't think I have that sheet up here anymore. I hand it out. Uh, but but uh, uh, that, that, listen, uh, the, uh, the, the God uh, has made us uh, uh, like we are. I mean, uh, uh, body, soul, and spirit. Now, uh, we're not uh, a body with a spirit. We're a spirit with a body. We've said that. Amen. We're, we're, he's going to live forever. Thank God for that. He, you know, uh, uh, it's just going to live forever. People say, well, uh, from dust to dust, and when you die, you're just going to go to dust, and that'll be it. Now, that's a body, uh, but it's going to be reunited with the soul one day, a glorified body. 
Hmm? Yeah, we're going to know each other in heaven as we talked about in the funeral uh, yesterday, amen. Uh, the, they rejoice in time, amen, uh, home going. Uh, but but uh, we need to believe the facts of the truth of the word of God. Have faith in the facts and not in our feelings, how we feel, amen. Boy, we'd be in a mess if we get up every day and just go by how we feel. Hmm? <laughs> go by the facts of the word of God. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. I can, amen. Have you ever taken a nap? And boy, it seems hard to get up when you take a nap. <laughs> you say, oh man, I don't want to get up. But you can. <laughs> hey man, Lord help me. <laughs> and he'll get you up. He'll help you. He, Randy talks about and everybody uh, praises uh, uh, God for the air he gives us. Amen. Thank God for that. He gives us the strength to put our feet on the floor and, and go forth for the Lord Jesus Christ. And we need to praise him for that. Let's remember God in the trials of life. Y'all probably don't have any trials, I guess. Amen. The way y'all looking there. Amen. You don't have any battles going on. You don't have any mind problems going on. Amen. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, my mind runs 95 miles an hour and I can't keep up with it half the time. Amen. Uh, it's just one thing right after another. But it's like Brother Wally said this morning. Amen. God can steal your mind. Boy, when my mind gets going like that, uh, I'll tell you what, the only thing to stop that is ask God to help, amen? Because I just go from one thing to the next, amen, thinking about praying about this and that, and it's good to pray, amen, but it's not uh, uh, good to let your mind just keep on going, amen? Uh, reel it in, amen, reel that in, uh, and, and think on these things, a good report. Just, you know, uh, <laughs> how to tell if it's a devil? Just start praising God. Say, amen, thank you, Lord, I, I bumped my toe, amen. Thank you, Lord, I didn't break it, praise God. Just start praising him. Ask God for a song and start singing from your heart to God Almighty. And the devil, he, he ain't liking that. He's going he's gonna to take off, amen. But look out. He might go out the door, but he might try to come back in a window somewhere else but just praise him at the window, amen? Praise him in the traffic. Praise him when this goes wrong. Praise him when trees fall, praise God. I mean, praise him, praise him, praise him. Just give praise to God. And, and boy, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, God inhabits praise. He loves that. He, uh, but the devil hates it. <laughs> and he, he uh, just, just uh, you know, Lester Roloff made that statement and I, I liked it years ago when I heard him say it there. He said, you find out the devil's uh, bothering you and, and after you, amen, uh, just tell him to go on home. Hell's made for the devil and his angels, you see. That's where he's going to spend eternity. And uh, uh, just, just uh, uh, but we're no strength uh, for, for uh, the devil on our own. It's only through God. So uh, realize uh, this as a body, soul, and spirit, we're, we're for the honor and glory of God. Amen. Uh, the outer man we talked about in that circle there and the, and the, the, uh, uh, the earth suit, amen, that God's given us here uh, to contain. We're going to have a glorified body on the other side. I'm telling you what. Uh, uh, the outer man, the earth suit, and, and uh, then, then uh, we're going to have that glorified body. Praise God, the spirit and the body uh, uh, together for God, for honoring him. Amen. Listen, just uh, uh, buffet yourself for, for God, as Paul said. Our, our mind and will and motions and personalities, all these things are of God's uh, uh, design there. He's made us all different. And uh, reading uh, about that and hearing uh, preachers preach about uh, about you know we're going to know one another in heaven by we're going to have the same emotions and, and, and things as far as the God part of it amen uh, there and, and the little things that make you you and me me see God knows us where we're at he knows where we come from. He, and he knows uh, uh, that, that uh, he sees the heart. Amen. And so we need to understand that. And so the carnal mind, uh, the man, he can't, he can't uh, know God uh, without uh, true salvation. Amen. He can't know the things of God. They're spiritually discerned there. And so we have to have a mind of Christ. And the Holy Spirit of God lives within us to teach us into all truths. People say, well, I just can't understand the old King James Bible. Well, let me tell you what. The Spirit of God lives within you. He's a teacher. He'll help you. If you just ask him, the Bible says over there in James, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. But how many of us, don't put your hands up, amen, just go on saying we don't ask for God about it. So I don't understand that. Hmm. Some things God will reveal to you 
because you're ready for them. We gave you some scripture about their, uh, that God revealed himself because they were ready to understand that. You know, we, we can't have it all right now. Amen. It's a process. Do you not know more as a child of God tonight than you did when you first got saved? Hmm? I'll tell you what. Can I tell you this? I didn't know the Old Testament from the New Testament when I got saved. I went to church two, three times a year. Amen. Uh, but but uh, uh, boy, the things, uh, it, the more you dig it, the deeper it gets, the wider it gets, amen, the more, the better it gets. I mean, listen, uh, if you don't know more than you did uh, when you were saved and you're not growing in, in the things of the Lord, uh, you better do some checking up on the situation, amen, uh, and have, have this uh, mind thing under control or, or need to get saved, one or the other, amen. The Spirit of God lives within us and, and we think about things differently because the Spirit of God reveals Healing things to us. Amen. When I was uh, first uh, saved, I had a cute little necklace I wore. Thought I was uh, something else. Amen. Uh, and cute little hair come down on my shoulders there. Amen. Thought I was Mr. Tough Guy because my brother was. And, 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 and the Holy Spirit convicted me. He said, hmm. over there the Bible says, don't you not know that it's a shame for a man to have long hair? <laughs> and I thought, hmm, Wow. I got looking around the godly saints and I seen it in the word of God. So I went and got my hair cut. I just got a little trim, you know. And then the Holy Spirit said, that's still too long. Now what's too long is too long. It's only God can tell you, amen, to understand that, different things, amen, uh, with it. But, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, I got, about three times of that, I went and got me a bird. I got in a in cut this time, amen, Francis. I mean, I got their own one again. Uh, but but uh, anyway, uh, I mean, it was shorter than this. I, they come in and say, well, you got a haircut, didn't you, son? I said, yeah, I did. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Praise God. I'm listening, be obedient to God. Listen, have the mind of God. Walk close to God. Listen to that still voice of the Holy Spirit that teaches us into all truths. I mean, he's there uh, to guide us and direct us for God's will, not for your will. Well, I just feel like this is what I need to do. What's God? Huh? What do you think about it, Lord? And yeah, there's nothing wrong with saying, this is what I think, Lord. What do you want me to do? And let him change your thinking about it. Amen. Understand. Uh, he might say, well, that's fine. That's good. Do that. Amen. Uh, and, and sometimes, though, uh, he'll let you uh, go and learn a lesson. Amen. Because you think you know more than God about it. And you uh, don't heed that little st still voice of the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, let him, let him uh, work in your heart and your life and, and, and then you'll be happy in the Lord. Amen. And, and folks will be uh, touched by your lives. You won't even recognize uh, uh, that, that uh, it's going on all the time. Amen. But it is. And, and you'll see uh, sometimes uh, the fruit of that thing. Amen. The Bible says uh, some plant, some water, but God gives the increase. Amen. And, and to realize uh, that, that God, you're co-laboring with God, see? And so we need to have the mind of God about it. So we need to gird up our minds. Uh, I gotta hurry along here, amen? Uh, so uh, we were spiritually dead without uh, any hope except for Jesus. Thank God for that, amen? Now, uh, we, we, as God's children... I said we need to uh, follow uh, the, the truths of the word of God. In Ephesians in chapter 4, amen, Ephesians in chapter 4, uh, there the Bible says this, and here, here we are, amen, Ephesians 4, and, and let me begin in verse number 11. I'll read down through some verses here uh, because I think it's important tonight if we get a, a, a hold on this. And the Bible says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. God's about edifying. Till, all, uh, till we all come in the unity of the faith and, and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, uh, unto, uh, uh, unto the measure of the uh, statue of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine 
by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Listen, uh, the devil is deceiver. And he wants us to be caught up in that. In verse 15 it says, But speaking the truth, amen, in love, may grow up unto, unto, uh, uh, unto him in all things, uh, which is uh, uh, head, even Christ, uh, from, from whom, whom the whole body fitly joined together uh, and compacted by that which uh, that every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying uh, of, of itself in love. Uh, notice that word edifying as it continues on all through the scriptures, amen. Uh, verse 17, it says, uh, this, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that he henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Uh -huh. Having the understanding darkened. Can I just stop right here a minute? You know, God gives you light about something. If you don't step into that light... He can take that light away from you. You understand that? And you'll say, well, how does this thing? You know, it's, it's darkened. <laughs> <Can't>, <laughs> but do what God shows you in, this, in the scripture, in the light, amen, of the word of God. It's having our understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance uh, that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Uh, who being uh, past feeling have given themselves over into lasciviousness, notice that they've given themselves over, uh, to work uncleanliness with uh, greediness. Uh, but ye have not learned Christ. If, if, if so be that ye have heard him uh, and have been taught by him uh, as the truth is in Jesus. Listen, we live in a society today that wants to put Jesus out of the picture. They want to say Buddha will get it done. They want to say Muhammad will get it done. But I'm telling you tonight that Jesus is the only one that will get it done. Amen. There's an empty tomb over there, praise God, uh, in Israel, thank God. Uh, verse 22 says this, that he put off concerning the former conversation. See that? You put it off. The old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. <laughs> and that he put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. <laughs> uh, listen, <laughs> uh, tonight, uh, are you... Uh, putting on the, the new man and living in the new man and the righteousness, amen. Are you, uh, the devil wants to keep digging up the old nature, amen. Uh, listen, whichever one you say sick him to is going to win. Uh, look at verse number 25, says that, uh, Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Listen, uh, folks, to give place to the devil is not to do what God says. When the Holy Spirit comes, as we talked about a little bit ago, and shows us some things, amen, and we say, well, I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that later, amen. It gives place to the devil to work. You think, well, it's not much place. I'm not like the heathen, amen. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I'll tell you what. You let the, that uh, place be open to the devil, and he'll take a lot more space than you think he will. See? He, he'll get you thinking uh, wrong thoughts. He'll get you thinking uh, 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 contrary to the truth of the word of God. Uh, he'll get you off in left field somewhere and you'll find yourself over there uh, and say, how did I get sidetracked? How did I get over here? Because of stinking thinking. Because you gave yourself over, amen, in that area. And that it might be a little bitty thing there, amen. Uh, but but uh, uh, the Bible tells us don't give place to the devil. <laughs> Uh, uh, we, we, uh, he, he's looking for a place to get into your mind. 
and see. And, and it's got to be combated with the Word of God. We don't have time to go over there tonight and look at, at the temptation of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, but the devil came and tempted him, and, and uh, uh, each time the Lord Jesus Christ took him to the Word of God and said, Get thee hence, Satan, it is written. Amen. There, there's a key for us. Do you know what is written about that? So, or do they do like this? You ever see somebody uh, that, that uh, just their mind is just a sponge to the wrong things, a magnet to the wrong things sometimes because they've given place to the devil, and, and they'll get a look on their face, uh, some weird doctor or something, and they'll say, well, I didn't know that, you know? And their mind, you can see their mind going with that. Boy, you better get in there with some scripture and tell them that's not what God said. That's not what this says, amen. Uh, this is not what God said about it, amen. You get thinking about that. God's way is right. That we live in a time where they're calling right wrong and wrong right. They're, they're advertising wrong, contrary to the book, amen. They're, they're pushing it. It's nothing new. They've been doing that all along. You know, back when the, uh, the Lester Roloff preached against the television, amen, called it the hellivision, uh, he said it's going to be a big uh, uh, hammer of the devil uh, to, to, uh, to uh, uh, li- make it uh, uh, palatable uh, for our nation to just go with the flow, amen. Uh, uh, boys, that's been true. If he could see it now, where we are now, the things uh, that are on there, you can't even watch the commercials, amen. Uh, thank God we got some things we, we watch, amen, uh, that, that uh, you know, had put up with that. But boy, sometimes things sneak in there and stuff, and you think, I can't believe that's on there. Hmm. Yeah. And it's just a slow, just keeps on, keeps on going. Amen. They're not, the devil's not going to give up. Uh, but listen, uh, your mind cannot be defeated unless you give place to the devil and to the flesh, contrary to the Word of God. But you're going to have to know what the Word of God says about it. You've got to get in the Word, study to show thyself approve. A workman uh, that, uh, uh, praise God, amen, lost it there. But uh, get in the Word of God, amen. Rightly dividing the Word of truth, amen. Thank God uh, that, that we've got a Bible and we've got a God and we've got a Holy Spirit that will teach us into all truths. He's available tonight to help you in those things. Don't give place to the devil. You say, well, how do I know? With all this, we live in, a, in the technology age. And boy, technology can be good. And technology can be bad with this philosophy against God's word. Very cunning, amen. They try to work things in. Uh, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> Just like I said uh, when we were talking uh, weeks ago about this, amen, uh, they said in Christopher Columbus' day uh, that the world was flat. (laughs) But the Bible says that it's a sphere, amen. He didn't sail out there and fall off the edge of the world, amen. Praise God. I mean, God made all this. He, uh, he's in, in control there, amen. And uh, we, uh, he, he's, uh, he's going to stay in control. Nothing's going to take him down. Understand that. Uh, all this technology and stuff, ever learning, never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, they said. That's what the Bible says. That's the way the world is. Oh, we got a new thing. Well, how's it fit with God's thing, amen? The truth of the Word of God. Uh, don't, do not give place to the devil, amen. Uh, he, uh, he, he'll, he'll uh, boy, sneak up on you. Uh, he'll tell you something that sounds so good. He, and and, and make, make it uh, just real palatable. Make it, make it easy. He'll use an excuse as well. Everybody's doing it. Thank God for a mom and a dad, my mom especially, that, that said, if everybody's doing it, son, you're not doing it. I said, why? because it's probably not right if everybody's doing it. I thought, you know, I didn't like that. Well, everybody can stay out past 10 o'clock, Mom. Not you. Everybody can go and do this and that and the other. Not you. Thank you, Mom. (laughs) Amen. Amen. Because some of those uh, that that uh, I was uh, related to, talking to, amen, about uh, that uh, uh, school uh, mates, amen, uh, they're dead or in prison tonight. Hmm. Yeah. 
Wow. Why? We need to get back to our godly heritage, amen, of the truth of the Word of God. Let the Holy Spirit uh, gird our minds up in truth, amen. Be filled with the Spirit of God. And that doesn't happen by accident. That happens on purpose. So you hear me? I'm telling you, it happens on purpose, not by accident. You cannot get it by sleeping on your Bible. Uh, you get up with a kink in your neck. <laughs> but it's by getting up every morning, getting in the Bible, going through the Bible. I hope you're reading through the Bible, amen. And say, well, I have a hard time reading. Listen to the Bible. Read with it. Amen. Uh, but go through the Word of God. And, and every time I go through the Word of God, there's more that I thought, wow, I missed that? Wow. I didn't see that before. <laughs> there's times, boy, I, I'll pause that, uh, the, the layer there and I'll uh, look back and I'll say, man, I don't see that context. Amen. Give me a little notebook there writing stuff down. Amen. Uh, God said, yeah, preach on that there. Preach on that there. And I said, I've never seen anything like that over there. Amen. I said, we've been there all the time. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Nobody's sneaking in writing new stuff in my Bible. <laughs> Think about it. Amen. But, but you've got to admit that none of us has arrived. But we've got to admit also there's a battle for your mind to think, well, I'm all right with status quo, amen. I'm all right. You know, I'll just stand here on the fence, amen, because I don't know what's right and wrong about that. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Listen, if you're standing on the fence, you're not, you're not standing still. You're going back. Don't, there's no, no neutral ground in this situation. Understand that, amen. God wants to help you. Forward movement causes friction. Understand that. Uh, but it also uh, is, uh, incites the power of God uh, to help you. He's a very present help in a time of trouble. I'm glad I've got a God like that, amen, that loves me tonight. And, and he uh, directs me, amen, to try the spirits. Try the spirits. And how you do that? With the word of God, Amen. Go over there with me to, uh, to um, 1 John, amen. Look with me there in 1 John in chapter 4 uh, tonight where the Bible talks about this verse number 1 read through 6, amen. It says, uh, Beloved, believe not every spirit. Hmm? The devil, he's a liar. There is other spirits, see, the, the devil is an imitator. He tries to imitate the truth enough to get your mind uh, questioning whether it's true or not. That's what he did from the beginning in the Garden of Eden. He said, did God say? He put doubt on the word of God. Verse number one says, uh, believe, uh, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that cometh, uh, uh, confesses that, that, uh, that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is, uh, is not come in the flesh, uh, is not of God, uh, and, and this uh, and this. Uh, and this is that spirit of Antichrist. Wherefore ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Now this was way back there he was saying that. But he's saying, it was already there then? Well, how much more today? Huh? How much more today? Listen, <laughs> uh, you don't, don't be so gullible. Get in the Word of God and let God show you and, and warm up to you and help you uh, to be uh, ready. Have a mind girded up for the warfare of this world. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God, the Bible says. Amen. And, and the girding up of your mind uh, is very important. Amen. Uh, that, that we guide and I mean guard uh, our, our uh, thought process. Amen. In line with what God has said there. Try the spirits. Amen. And, and allow God to help you. Uh, the, the Bible goes on and says, 
says there, ear of God, little children, if you have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world as a saved individual. Thank God for that. Amen. He's a help. Uh, listen, uh, the, the devil comes with his big tanks and armor and everything. Boy, and you think, you look at that, and you think, oh my. It's like the Old Testament over there, amen? And the prophet said, let him see those that are with us. Huh? You know, we can't see all that stuff in the spiritual thing, but you better know it's real in the truth of the word of God. You, if you're walking with God, you understand the wrong spirit and the right spirit, see? And God wants you to have the right spirit let our spirit bear witness with his spirit, amen, that we're children of God and love one another. It says, uh, it says there uh, uh, in uh, verse number five there, uh, again it says, uh, uh, they, are, they are of the world, they're, they're, uh, therefore speak they of the world and the world heareth them. Boy, they're all like that. Who's that guy years ago they used to say and talk about? I guess they still talk about it. When E.F. Hutton talks, everybody listens. I don't even know who E.F. Hutton is, amen. Uh, some kind of financial guy or something, amen. Uh, I didn't listen when he spoke. <laughs> but, amen. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, listen, uh, the world's saying, oh, you hear this? You hear this? Newest and greatest, amen, is against God. Hey, just had to miss church uh, just one time. It's all right. Hmm. Is it all right? Huh? No. The Bible says, not forsaking the assembly of thyself together is a matter of some is. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. What day? The day of the Lord. Amen. Listen, people know the faithful crowd. Amen. They know when your, your car is out of the driveway. The neighbors were all out in their yard looking at that tree fell right before church. Uh, uh, and the, the, and, and uh, we just uh, drove out and they're all like, you leaving? That tree just fell. I said, <laughs> Amen. They're all like, you know, two houses down. They're all standing out there looking at us go by. <laughs> Amen. Good. They know. Amen. <laughs> Uh, but oh, listen, they know also if you're sick or something can't come and their car's still in the driveway, uh, they'll come and ask you, uh, didn't go to church yesterday? You feel like saying, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll say, they're just bold today. They'll say, you know I don't go, but I know you go. They put years ago when I was in the welding uh, industry and, and started my first church and uh, prior to that even they, they, they uh, uh, put a new uh, 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 kitchen in for a dining place for the, for the workers, amen, to come in. Big old thing, bigger than this building here. Uh, that for, to feed them. They, and they decided they're going to wire in the, uh, speakers and, and have some music in there, amen. Of course, you know the music they had. <laughs> all that kind of stuff, you know, and, and uh, I didn't know they were going to have it hooked up. I left my lunch box in there, amen, and I come in the door to uh, get that, and there's a, a table. I just come in the door, and there's tables on both sides in the hallway down through there, uh, to our little aisle to go down to where my table, where my lunch box was, and, and uh, uh, there was about four of them in that first table. I said, Preacher, you ain't going to stay in here and listen to this music, are you? I said, No, sir, I'm going to get my, my lunch. I'm going out under the railroad car and eat. You know, the world knows what's right and wrong, but boy, they're looking to find you in the wrong. They're looking to try to get your mind in the wrong thinking, amen. Amen, uh, listen, uh, try the spirits to see whether of God. Listen, uh, uh, demons are real. People say, well, Christians can't be... Uh, bothered by demons. You know, in Bible school, they gave us a book to read, and it's called What Demons Can Do to the Saints. But I'll tell you what. If you give place to the devil, you'll find yourself in a miserable frame of mind I mean, if the devil could, if God, God's got to give him permission to let him do that, amen, but he, uh, if he could, he would kill you. He don't want us. He, he would harm you any way he can, amen. He'd make a tree fall on you. 
But God, the Holy Spirit, and uh, God the Father, they're stronger, amen. They can keep it from happening, amen. Thank God. But boy, I'll tell you what. It talks about the importance of prayer in this with the scriptures. And I like to go into all this, but I'm telling you that it's real. The devil's real. And there's a battle going on. And you that are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, amen, uh, that, uh, unless you be tempted yourself in the situation. The devil wants to pull all he can in. But boy, people are hurting, and they, 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 uh, their mind is messed up with the philosophy of this world and the devil. We've got to get the word of God. We've got to live the word of God. We've got to know the Word of God before we can live the Word of God. It's not just going to happen by accident, amen. Now, bless God, the Holy Spirit of God convicts you. And if you don't understand what the conviction is about, ask God. He'll help you and he'll show you, amen, <laughs> about it. And then uh, 1 John 1 9 is still in the Bible. We're over in 1 John. Take a look at it, amen. It's still there. Let's avail ourselves. Let's not make excuses, amen. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's let's uh, uh, agree with God. See, you, what, agree with God? What do you mean, preacher? Agree with God that it's S-I-N when the Holy Spirit is convicting you. Instead of, well, I've got an excuse, God. It's not as bad as such and such. You know, and, and they'll go on and on. Here, the Bible says this. Verse number 9, it says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Verse 8 says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Listen, we as God's children need to uh, believe the truth of the word of God. Now, 1 John 1, 9 is not a license of sin. They say, well, I'll just go ahead and do this, God. We don't say it like that, but do we, our mind thought and the world's thought. And, and people say, well, people don't think that's wrong anymore, preacher. Well... Is my conviction, amen, uh, about the whole thing. God showed me, I'm sure, about some things, amen, uh, that made me different for you uh, in, in some areas, but there's some things that are black and white, amen. And the world said that never was wrong. That shouldn't have been in the Bible even, they'll say. <laughs> I mean, they'll say all kinds of things. And verse 10 says there, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Hmm. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. <laughs> Amen. Listen, uh, there, there is a battle going on. There's spiritual warfare uh, to, to uh, be in combat with. Amen. Understanding uh, that God uh, is on the throne. Amen. Listen, uh, tonight, uh, uh, God loves you. Amen. He wants you to gird up your mind in the truths of the word of God. Uh, uh, have the power uh, of the spirit of God, amen. We talked about last week, amen, or last time we spoke about this, about our, our, uh, uh, all of our power tools, amen, in the garage and, and our saws, electric saws and drills and everything. And our, uh, uh, we, we, uh, without the power source, it don't work. It's for the job, amen. When I go out to cut that tree up in my yard, I'm not going to go out there with my gas uh, chainsaw and just say, well, bless God, we'll get this done. Hmm. A lot of activity. Not much done except wearing yourself out. But oh, you turn the power on. Boom! have it all sharpened up. Man, I had me a dull blade and that thing wouldn't go good and the blade kept coming off and working on the thing and everything. Got me a new blade. Amen. Put it on a new chain. Amen. Um, and then they go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, that's good. Amen. It's a lot better than when I was trying to cut a tree down here earlier this winter, amen, with that old doll blade. And I was over there. I said, well, I'm thinking about this, amen. The chain was even, uh, I mean, the motor was running, but I was going, because mm, 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 he wasn't cutting, amen, wasn't doing anything. And I was like, huh. I couldn't get it all down, Aaron. I had to put it, I wore out. I said, I'm going to go get me a blade, amen, put on this thing. And I went over there then. And he said, whoa. I said, huh, take that. <laughs> and the boys helped me carry it over to the house, amen. 
Thank God for boys. Amen. Thank God. Uh, but but hey, we, we as God's children, we're, we're, we are designed for His honor and glory. To think on these things that the Bible tells us to think on. Amen. For His honor and glory. Not, not just to, uh, to be uh, there as an instrument not used on a side, uh, put, on a, put on a shelf somewhere. Amen. You know, there's a lot of churches across the United States that Ichabod's written, oh, excuse me, over their door because they quit thinking what God's thinking. Lord, we got this now. We got a better way now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. And God said, well, I'm not going to have anything to do with it. You know, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of places God's on the outside knocking to open it for us to open the door and let him come in. Amen. Listen, he's welcome here. Praise God. I hope he's welcome at your house. Amen. I preach a message on easy walking for the devil. Amen. Uh, uh, I hope it's not easy walking for the devil. I mean, listen, uh, I hope you're girded up in the truths of the word of God and, and allow God uh, to, to uh, make you worthwhile. Amen. Uh, I can't say it any better than that, uh, that, that you might hear, well done, that good and faithful servant. Uh, it's a battle for the mind. And, and thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Uh, listen, it, it's not over with just because you're uh, 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 20 years old in the Lord, 40 years old in the Lord, or however old you are in the Lord. Or It's not over with it's just because uh, Cameron just got saved a couple years ago here, amen. It's not over with. It's just a, it's a, it's a start right from now on, amen, to be continuing on. I wish I'd got saved at your age. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> what can be done if we give our mind to God? unified in the, in the truths of the Word of God, allowing God uh, to work in our hearts and our life. Amen. Uh, have our, our, our spirits right with Him. Amen. Uh, what a great God we serve tonight. He, he's an able God. He's there to help you. If you're serious about this thing, amen, God will gird your mind up. <laughs> the, the, uh, we think about uh, old Job over there. You know, Satan came by, and, and uh, he said, where you been? Out walking through and fro from the earth. And he said, have you considered my servant Job? And she said, yeah, does he serve you for not? Now listen. You don't serve God just because it's easy. If, they, if you uh, thought there's some folks get saved and they think... Uh, you know, well, it's going to be a, just a, a, a smooth sailing now. Mm -mm. I was going to be rocking the boat, amen. But I praise God, Jesus is in the boat with you. The boat ain't going to sink. He said, we're going to the other side. The devil's going to huff and puff and bring the waves up, bolster us, amen. Peter said, if it be you, Lord, let me come to you on the water. He got down out of the ship, amen, walked in the water, and the old devil blew the wind up and the waves up, amen, and he looked, took his eyes off of God and began to sink. At least he had enough sense to cry out to the Lord to help him, and the Lord got him up out of there, amen. <laughs> you know, I wonder what the others thought in the boat. Do you ever think about that? When he began to sink, I wonder if any of them thought, I told you, I knew he shouldn't have got out. Yeah, amen. You always got critics and stuff. Listen, amen, just walk by faith. Uh, Brother Glenn said, boy, he, he nailed it uh, down last uh, week, amen. Uh, he, the steps of faith, God teaches you steps of faith. Them little baby steps at first, said, wow, that was good. That was a big step, amen, uh, for you at that age, amen. But now, I'm telling you what, the, 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 <laughs> it's bigger than the Grand Canyon sometimes, the step of faith, but if God said it, do it. Go on, amen. Get in the car and go to Gillette, Wyoming with six kids and a dog, amen. Or back up before that, get up and, and, and just go on to uh, the college, amen, and, and, and change uh, and leave all that other stuff, amen, by faith. Hmm. Start another church. I didn't want to start this church when, I, when we started, but God said, go ahead, amen. I said, okay, Lord. I'm older than I used to be, Amen. <laughs> But, but thank God I did. Been a lot of folks saved and a lot more folks going to get saved. Amen. If the Lord tarries his coming, uh, to God be the glory. It's just a step of faith. Hmm? There's no easy roads when I'm talking about. 
There's no uh, bed of roses, amen. They all got thorns. You lay down and you're going to get thorned uh, and, and bleeding and cut up, amen. <laughs> uh, uh, realize that. Uh, but, oh, you're not going to be able to realize that if your mind's not girded up in the truth of the Word of God. He wants to help you. He knows every detail in each of our lives. He knows what we need. And the devil, he's used the fear tactics, amen. He, he'll scare you with whatever it takes. And we all got our own things. I'm not going to tell him what mine is. He already uh, works on them, amen. But uh, you know what I'm talking about, things that, that will shake you up, amen. And then, oh, after, after the fact of God saying, okay, Lord, I'm going to do this. And, and, and you step out and, and God is just God. He does what he says. Praise his holy name that he is sufficient. He is sufficient. No matter, Brother Glenn, how far the canyon is, how big the step is, how big the jump is. He said, Brother Crank, he told me as we was working here, he says sometimes you have this step of faith. God tells you and you got to run and jump and, and you jump out there in the middle and you think, oh, I'm not going to make it. Mm. Sometimes... <laughs> A lot of times it seems like in my life he waits to the 12 o'clock hour, amen, to come through. But he always come through. Amen. He always come through. It might be not just how we uh, thought it. We've got our own plan on how he needs to come through, don't we? Huh? But when it's all said and done, when we look back, and some of it we won't see until we get to heaven, but when it's all said and done, we better be honest and look back and say, well, that was better than I ever thought of. <laughs> you know? That's, that's our God. He's able. Pray one for another. Gird one another up in prayer. The devil is walking about as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. He's going to devour the ones with the weak minds out of, out of the thoughts of God. Uh, amen. We're not thinking right because it, that, <laughs> that's the one he's looking for. Oh, and he'll just put a little more on. Amen. The devil will. He's walking about seeking whom he may devour. Don't be a casually along the road. It's it's a and be be a uh, be be the God's child, Amen. Uh, and be on alert to help those, Amen. And stand on the rock to help them. Don't get down the mud with them. Say, okay, this is fun, ain't it? Let's get out of here. Now you're both stuck. Come over here. Come over here, you can help me. They say, huh, you come over here. This is where it's safe over here. This is where God said. Amen. Put that arm out there. Got him up in the word of God. Pray for him. There's a lot of folks that need prayed for. A lot of needs. But God is sufficient to meet all of those needs. Amen. Isn't that good? Amen. All right, let's close in a word of prayer tonight. I'm going to ask tonight if God... Spoke to you and need, need girded up. And we're available to talk to you. God's going to give you the word of God. Gird up with the word of God. That word if I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Amen. Amen. Brother Wall, you close in a word of prayer. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming today.